Just as a quick update on the, uh, the pillar drill, the motor's all back together and remounted. Um, quite an easy job actually with the uh, ability to use the, uh, the rise and fall table as a jack. And uh, I dismantled and um, cleaned up and greased and reassembled correctly the uh, belt tensioning mechanism that had been put together slightly wrong or someone had messed with it in any case but uh, I've got it temporarily wired into um, this VFD and this is not a Huan Yang I quite like the Huan Yangs, I've used quite a few um, my lathe's been running one for many years um, this is an Ask Power which is uh, cosmetically a pretty much direct copy uh, but uh, it's a very much reduced feature set you, uh, you've only got about 30 odd parameters rather than a hundred and something and uh, yeah definitely not as nice try and avoid these I'd say they're, uh, they're not really very much cheaper than the Gen Yuan Yangs and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy another one it's probably fine um, it run the pillar drill um, without any problems I should think but uh, anyway we can run the drill up I've got it in a relatively low uh, belt speed at the moment and then I can run the motor up to 100 hertz to get some RPM out of it. One of the advantages of a VFD is you can avoid a lot of the belt changes. The, uh, the belts aren't particularly um, smooth running ones so I may uh, get another couple of belts. So the 415 to 240 volt conversion um, a success as expected and uh, I'll make up some bracketry and mount the VFD up on the side and I'm back to having a usable pillar drill.